Hello, my name is Jim, and this is your Daily Brogue for September 11th, 2018. Let's see what I have. I've got a big blob of water over there. I've got some gold, so I'll pick up my gold, and I'll wander off to the side over here, grab a nice little scroll. And see where I can get to. All right, so... I'm actually doing this out of order, so it's a little later in the month than I should be. So I was just talking about invisibility, and so I'll be talking about that in a couple of days to you. Um, and stealth, and that screwed me up. But basically, that reminded me how important this Brogue safe, um, stealth radius is. That's a very, very useful thing for being able to make decisions. So it's something that I probably think that I think probably other games should implement, even implement in sort of a retro fashion if there is any sort of stealthiness going on in the game, right? Um, if there's not, then there's not, but this is just a fairly reasonable thing. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's a good good example right there. You can see how far you can be seen, and then for some reason, you walk into this better lighted space, and... Um, that radius increases significantly. You can only see a couple of places that can't see you, and that kobold could definitely see me right now. It took him a lot long enough to see me, but still, it's definitely something that he could have done if he weren't, you know, busy napping on the job. So that's more or less um, the point about the stealth. So I'm going to wander up here and kill that bloat which will hopefully kill a monkey. Nope, there's a monkey there. That monkey is now preventing me from killing that other bloat, so I'll come up here. Kill the monkey. And does the bloat come to some place I can hit it? Yes, no, not quite. Uh, that's no fun. So I'm going to go back up here since I know there's a bloat around and see if I can not accidentally run into it. Because we don't really like walking into big bags of caustic gas, right? So there's some chainmail. Can handle chainmail. Right now we're not really in a really really great stealth mode, so um, switching up to chainmail is something we might want to do if we get a um, detect magic potion and we either have good or neutral chainmail. Yep, there's a bloat. This isn't the same bloat because it was asleep, it looked like. So there's another bloat wandering around somewhere. At least another one more, right? I don't think that one was it either. And of course, because it's in an enclosed space, that gas is busy not dissipating. This one might actually dissipate faster because it has this outlet over here. Okay. And it looks like I might be unfortunate enough to have to go all the way back. So, let's see. Oh, look at all this stuff. Ooh, a ring in banded mail. Let's equip that opal ring. Is it cursed? It's not cursed. We're in good shape. All right. So, off we go. Where did the bloat go? So I've got some darts. I'm almost out of darts already. It's pretty awesome. Um, 
Lots of armor, but armor is usually cursed. Armor has a bit of a downside in this game. All right, let's see what's over here. I don't see anything. So I might have to do some searching. Just in case, because I mean, that does happen in some games, where there's something like that. There are also sometimes disconnected rooms. And at least once I found a magic item in the middle of a wall. So all of these things happen, but can't really count on them. Potion of Life, Incineration. And telepathy. Okay, telepathy is fine. Am I burning no longer? Bloodwort stalk, I'm fine. Okay, so not the things I'd really like, but they're okay. Let's check out over here. Oh, good, a ring. Or not a ring, a um, thing there. Um, very rarely do I keep plate armor, so since I use it so rarely. I will throw that over there. Okay, I have Ring of Awareness, Ring of Transference, Staff of Poison. It's okay, Staff of Poison. Wand of Invisibility. Transference on. That's usually fairly good. Uh, improves with better weaponry. Motion of paralysis. Hide, let the rat and the goblin do whatever it is rats and goblins like to do over in the corner. The black potion. And some more plate armor. And I don't see any reason to disturb that gaggle of monsters over there. So I'll just come down here, test my potions, darkness, wonderful, creeping death. Okay, so I had a pretty good run where I ended up with the darkness and a. Oh, I'm dark and hallucinating. Oops. So I'm going to stand in the middle. I need a nice corner of a room. It's reasonably dark. See, this isn't really good because my stealth radius is sort of right in the middle of where something wandering through would be. Um, I'm going to try the Flynn Lofa Snargnage just in case. School of Enchantment. Oh, I've got rings of transference. I don't have rings of stealth. Actually, I have two rings of transference. Um, now I have to decide what I'm going to enchant, and I don't want to enchant anything. I'll enchant the staff that I don't know what it is. Okay, so... Apply G. Oh, wonderful. I've protected some jellies. Are going to therefore eat me. Still darkened. This can take a while. I think another jelly wandered in while the other one was there. So one of the few staffs, lots of jellies today. 
one of the few staffs that I don't actually want. to enchant I enchanted that's the sort of thing that goes on orange potions extra scrolls I don't know what we can faint actually do so I don't really worry about it I just know that eventually I eat a ration of food. I could eat it specifically, but it seems to me as though I may as well just let it eat at that point so I get the most food value out of any particular, the most nutritional value out of any particular piece of food, right? Optimize the food intake. Um, Oh, it looks like I was down there, but there might be something there. Probably not. Nope. And so let's get down here, grab that pink potion. So I don't care if I do anything by the water. I don't care because... I already incinerated myself, so once you've already incinerated yourself, that stuff doesn't matter anymore. So, at least I got to use that potion to good effect. Not good enough, there's still that eel. Let's see. This isn't a great spot to hide, but what have I got? I'm on depth 5 and I found no strength potions, so I've got to dislike that. is not good. Okay, better, better. Still not good because I got stuck there, but still better. It's too well lit. I'm not really in a good place. Too many monsters wandering around. I don't have any goodies. Crap. Not really in a good shape to wear the chain mail, right? Because I haven't had any potions of strength. Um, Okay, got a potion of incineration, that might be useful. Scary statue. Since I don't know what's in there, I won't bother. I'm not really in a 
good spot. More enchanting. Don't have anything I really want to enchant. Um, guarding charm that might be useful. Be useful if it lasted longer. Food is good. I like food. Food is good. Scroll of enchanting. Not too much crap. Now let's drop the R. Get my gold. So I don't see anything there that's worth going after. Right. So I don't see something worth going after, I'm not going to go after it. Crap. Oh well, that's it for me. Um, all right, so depth six. That's it with that one. I don't know what I screwed up for that one, but that is depth sixth.